What's up, everybody? It is Codebreaker146 here yet again with another video here today, and I'm going to be talking about Royal Rumble 2016 predictions. I adamantly said, no, I'm not going to be doing predictions because I feel like prediction videos, A, they don't get a lot of views, and B, it's the same video that everybody else does in the YWC. Everybody does a predictions video, and I like to be different than any other YWC YouTuber out there. Um, some of you may know that, and some of you don't, but I don't like doing predictions videos, but I want to do this prediction videos because A, I'm really excited for the Royal Rumble, and B, I have a lot of stuff that I would like to talk about that I can I can elaborate more on than rather than I could do in a raw review. Does that make sense? I can do I can elaborate more in this video than I could ever do in a raw review. Does, this, does that make sense? I'm trying to you know make this clear and cut and whatnot. So yeah, um, I I'm very excited for the Royal Rumble A because uh, just. I don't know exactly who is going to win the Royal Rumble. I can make a good guess as to why I'm doing this prediction video, but I don't know exactly. And the other matches before look really, really good. And depending on the WWE's booking decisions and who wins what match and, you know, how good the matches are is going to depend if this show is a good show. Now, the last two shows that we've had, Royal Rumble 2014 and Royal Rumble 2015, were not that good whatsoever. Um... We've had predictable winners of the Royal Rumble, and the matches before, we've always had two really good matches. We had Bray Wyatt and Daniel Bryan in 2014, and we've had the triple threat match for the WWE Championship with Rollins, Brock, and Cena at 2015. So this year, are we going to have one of those amazing four to five star matches possibly at a Royal Rumble like we do normally every year? And are we going to have the Royal Rumble match? Is it going to be good or is it not like the last two years have been? So we're going to find out uh, this Sunday, but I'm going to give you my thoughts right now. So, with the WWE Tag Team Championship match, I don't think this is going to open the show. But we got the New Day as the Tag Champions versus the Usos. Um, the New Day has been doing much of the same thing, even though with Francesca's death. Uh, so, they're switching up things a little bit. Um, and they're facing the Usos here. I don't know who the uh, who the New Day plan on facing at WrestleMania. I hope they're on the regular show. The tag team championships do not need to be on the pre-show for like a third st or a third straight year, making it this year. When I go to WrestleMania 32, I want to see the New Day on the show. So when I watch back on the Blu-ray, I don't have to go on the special features or the second disc to watch the New Day because I love the New Day so much, and I feel like the tag team titles are very important to WWE. And the tactic division is a huge part of WWE's success um, for, you know, for my dollar, I guess. Um, and, I mean, without Sin Cara, the Lucha Dragons aren't really a thing. I know he's supposed to come back around February or March, so there's that. Um, but, I mean, we all we got is the Usos. We got the Jobber Boys, uh, the Dudley Boys, if, you know, not confusing them. Uh, we got the New Day. We got the Ascension, I guess. And then, you know... Other than that, we don't have anybody else. I mean, the primetime players are split up for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, and that's really it. We don't have any many good tag teams. If we could form a couple more tag teams, I know we got the League of Nations, maybe Rusev and Barrett, maybe Rusev and Del Rio. I'm not specifically sure, but if we made a couple more tag teams, then that would be really awesome. I know the Wyatts are a possible tag team that you could throw in there, maybe like Harper and Rowan or Strowman and Rowan or somebody like that. Uh, so there's a couple of different tag teams you could form, but it's just they're not using them to their fullest extent. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyways, I I think the New Day should win here. I think they should carry the belts till Mania and then drop the titles. Um, but I think the Usos have a chance at winning this match here, but I'm going to go the, with the New Day. Um, so, yeah, maybe we'll see like a triple threat or a fatal four-way, maybe a tag team turmoil at WrestleMania 32. I would like, I like to see that. Um, and hopefully it's not on the pre-show and relegated to that. You can keep the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on the pre-show, as far as far as my concern. Um, so, yeah. Uh, then we got the United States Championship match, Callisto and Alberto Del Rio. So, Callisto held the championship for one day just to have it taken back at the SmackDown tapings on Tuesday after winning it on Raw from Alberto Del Rio. So, I mean, the shock value was there. It made WWE a little bit interesting for another day. And, you know, you could feel like anything could happen, but they just took it back, and it was almost like a waste of time. So, hopefully, unfortunately, this is not like a two out of three falls match. Like, it's not the rubber match. I mean, it is the rubber match, but it's not like, okay, this is two out of three falls. Excuse me, and I get it. So, I would like to see Callisto win here, and maybe you could have Callisto and Sin Cara go. Ha that would be a fun-ass opener for WrestleMania 32 if you had those guys go at it for the U.S. Championship. And WWE was so fixated on having Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara, 
but that never happened and came to fruition. So maybe you can do Callisto versus Sin Cara. You can have Callisto against pretty much anybody, and Callisto can make a really good match pretty much with almost anybody and make it entertaining. And with Callisto, he's such a different champion, and you can put him almost against anybody. You know what I mean? You can put him against a Stardust. You can put him against a Neville or a Tyler Breeze or something like that and have him face that person. I don't think you need to have him go up against ADR uh, at WrestleMania or ca carry this feud on any longer after this match. Um... So, I think Alberto Del Rio is going to win here because WWE logic. Um, but I'd really like to see Callista win, but I'm going to go ADR for the win here. Um, then we got a Divas match for the Divas Championship. Uh, Charlotte, Becky Lynch. I'm not... I don't really care for this feud that much. I don't really care for Becky Lynch, and I don't care for Charlotte. So, my excitement level for this is about a 1 or a 2. I feel like they could have a good match, um... If given the right amount of time, as long as it doesn't go too long and we're not sitting on our, you know, we're not having our hands on our heads like, uh, you know what I mean? So, hoping that this match uh, gets enough time, but not too much time, if you know what I mean. Uh, and I hope it's a good match. Um, Becky Lynch or Charlotte, I honestly have Charlotte keep it until WrestleMania. But for shock and uh, shock value and to make keep things interesting and have championships change hands, I'm going to say Becky Lynch for the win here. But I'd have Charlotte keep the championship till Mania and have Sasha Banks eventually come back. And from then, uh, maybe you involve Paige, maybe you involve Becky, and you have a fatal four-way or something like that. Um, I don't know if they're going to do the whole Battle Royal or the Divas Invitational thing, but it would make it interesting. So we'll see. I think Charlotte should hold on to WrestleMania. Then we got a last man standing match for the Intercontinental Championship. Let me just tell you right now, this has been one of the most well-built mid-card championship feuds that I have seen in quite some time. You know, Ambrose and Owens are just going at it every single week. They're trying to tear each other apart. We're really seeing fight Owens fight, not run Owens run. Fight Owens fight is the guy to put you through a table and to really mess you up. And what I, I, look, I love that about this feud. The TLC match that they had was not that great. I'm gonna, and the one that they had at Survivor Series was a little bit better than their TLC match. So here at the Royal Rumble going in, I'm hoping that we get a solid blow-off match. And I'm hoping it's really good because I think this last man standing match has the potential to steal the show. And I think this is the match that's going to open the show because I believe that Ambrose and Owens will play a big part in the Royal Rumble wherever they're at. Um, so... I think Dean Ambrose is going to win. I think Dean Ambrose should win. I think there's no need for Owens to carry the IC title anymore. Maybe I really want to see him go after Brock, but I'll get into that later in the video. Um, so I think Owens should go away from the IC championship and get involved for a bigger feud for WrestleMania of some kind. Um, and there's a lot of being rumors throwing around uh, where Owens is going to be on the card, and we'll see. But, you know... Um, I, Ambrose should win here. He's going to have a big IC title part at WrestleMania as well. Um, so I'll talk about that once again around the Royal Rumble near the end of the video. But yeah, I think this match should be really damn good. Uh, really hardcore. Uh, well, not really hardcore, but you know, weapons will be used. Somebody's going to go through a table. A lot of near fall or a lot of false finishes, I should say. And Ambrose should win. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, then we got the 30 man Royal Rumble match. Now this year, the winner is not going to WrestleMania. The winner is going to be the WWE World of It Champion. And that's the first time since 1992 WWE's like, well, this is the first time ever that, you know, yada, yada, yada. Well, technically, yes, it's the first time it's ever being defended. But the one in 92 was for the championship. And this one's for the championships. I wish WWE would, not, would acknowledge that they had, that they actually existed before the year 2008. Um, because WWE feels like they live in this own world that they've only been here for a decade and they don't acknowledge what happened in the past. That's why you didn't hear that Brock Lesnar and Undertaker actually met in Hell in a Cell matches and whatnot uh, in 2003 and in 2002. So, yeah, I wish WWE would do that, but that's a little nitpick. So, number one starting is Roman Reigns. Now, you can do a lot of different things for number two. You can have Triple H come out here, or you can have Triple H, you can wait and have him sit out for the rest of the on wait until near the end of the Royal Rumble and have him either be an entrant or have him just screw Roman Reigns out of the championship. But if Ro if Triple H came out as number two, that would be a really really interesting dynamic. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, a potential number two, it's got to be somebody who's of a huge opposition to Roman Reigns, maybe, or somebody that Roman Reigns it's going to be like they're on the same level equally. So you could put Dean Ambrose in there because the last man standing match is probably going to kick off the show. 
because I think that Ambrose and Owens should be in the Royal Rumble. But if they're not, that's going to be a, a sad thing. Um, maybe you have Sheamus come in at number two. Uh, Sheamus is not that bad of a pick to do go number two. Um, a lot of people said AJ Styles is going to be in the Royal Rumble, but we don't know what entrance he's going to be. AJ Styles could be at the Royal Rumble, and if he does, um, I'm suspicious. I'm speculating that maybe Kevin Owens is in the ring, and then AJ Styles comes out, and then AJ Styles eliminates Kevin Owens, and it's, oh my god, AJ Styles is here, AJ Styles is in WWE, and he just eliminated Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens gets pissed, pop-up powerbombs this man, and AJ Styles is unable to compete and is unable to go further in the Royal Rumble. So that could be uh, a few that you could lead into WrestleMania and Fastlane between AJ Styles and Kevin Owens, or... Then we also got Brock Lesnar and Kevin Owens if Kevin Owens is in the Royal Rumble. Maybe Kevin Owens gets thrown out by Brock Lesnar, and, you know, that's the that's the start of the feud. That's teasing it. And then at Fastlane, we have Brock and Roman for the championship, and you have Kevin Owens cost Brock the title. Um, or you have Kevin Owens win some sort of tournament or win some sort of match to become the number one contender uh, for the championship at WrestleMania against Brock Lesnar. Because there's different ways you can go about this feud because I feel like these two bulls, Brock Lesnar and Kevin Owens, going at each other would be such an interesting dynamic, man. And it, and like I said, you don't have to have Brock and Kevin Owens main event the show. Um, if, if you want Triple H and Roman Reigns to main event the show, so help me God, then have it main event the show. But I feel like Brock and Ke uh, Brock and Kevin Owens could go out there and tear the house down for the championship, and you actually give Kevin Owens the win. You solidify a new monster heel who's just as powerful and can beat Brock Lesnar, who not many people can beat Brock Lesnar. Um, Brock Lesnar technically hasn't really get gotten pinned for, what, since WrestleMania 29? So... I mean, Brock's a different type of animal. If you have Kevin Owens or a younger talent go over, that's that's really big for their career. So, and then we get to the Wyatt family. The Wyatt family were pushed heavily. Uh, the Wyatt family have been racking up the end of the show doing this thing, and the Wyatt family followed the buzzards and whatnot. So, yeah, um, they, they laid out Brock and Roman, and they laid out uh, a lot of guys on SmackDown. I don't watch SmackDown, but I just heard that was the thing at the end of the show. So, the Wyatt family are a force to be reckoned with um, in the Royal Rumble. I feel like they're going to do some damage. Uh, you know, they're going to team up as a group, possibly. Um, I hope that we don't go down the Brock and Bray path. I don't know how much of a good match it would be if they actually did it. It could be interesting, but Bray has lost so many matches, and I don't believe Bray can beat almost anybody at this point. So... I don't know how that much appeals to me, and I sure as hell do not want to see Braun Strowman versus freaking Brock Lesnar, because A, that's a waste of Brock. Now, Brock is not Jesus, and Brock deserves a big match. Like, he's not the, the man that deserves everything and whatnot. He's not the biggest person in their company. Uh, maybe, you could, maybe you could argue for that and say yes or no, but going into WrestleMania, Brock deserves a worthy opponent. Now... Maybe, maybe, just maybe you go with Bray Wyatt, but you got to build him a lot better. Um, then, uh, I w oh man, I, I don't want to see that match. I'm, I hope we do Brock and Kevin Owens, but I feel like we might go Brock and Sheamus, or we might go Brock and Bray. Um, but you got three heels that are in the contention. I feel like Kevin Owens isn't going to happen. Um, and I feel like Sheamus could happen, but it won't. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Um, Brock is going to win this Royal Rumble, if you want to know who who I think is going to win the Royal Rumble. I think, now thinking about it, number one will be Roman, number two will be Bray, because, you know, Bray's special entrance, and Bray needs to go the distance and have a long run in the Royal Rumble. Daniel Bryan is there. Daniel Bryan could be there, uh, you know, in attendance for the Royal Rumble. He might play a part in the Royal Rumble, and but he won't win, but he might get to the Final Four. Maybe have him come in like round 23, 22-ish. Have Brock come in at 25 or 24 and have him wreck a couple people and throw out maybe like seven or eight people in the Royal Rumble. Um, Braun Strowman, you got the League of Nations threat in there. AJ Styles, you have a couple more surprises that we'll probably see from maybe from NXT, maybe some past legends. So this Royal Rumble has a mix to make a really good Royal Rumble. Do I think Roman Reigns should win? No. I think Triple H should cost him. And then we set up Triple H and Roman because Triple H doesn't need to be off TV until February of Fastlane. There's no need for that. So what we do is we have Brock and Roman as Fastlane. That's a big money match, and that's a huge main event for Fastlane. So for the WWE Championship, you have Brock win the Royal Rumble, last eliminating, say, Roman Reigns. Or maybe you have him eliminate Wyatt last if you want to tease it a little bit more. Maybe you have him eliminate Kevin Owens last. Um... 
And, I, and I'd be fine with Brock winning the Royal Rumble, to be honest. Maybe i like to see a surprise. Maybe have Kevin Owens throughout Brock and win the Royal Rumble, which will be so cool to see. But, like, just have, you know, good, that's just maybe me just being biased because I love Kevin Owens so much. But, yeah, I, I, I just don't know uh, what's going to go down after the Royal Rumble. But, yeah, you have Brock and Roman for the title at Fastlane. Then at WrestleMania, you have somebody else versus Brock. So, I don't know. There's a lot of different options WWE can consider, but going in WrestleMania, we'll kind of get a picture of who we know is going to face each other uh, at WrestleMania. Maybe we'll see. I've heard Kevin Owens and Undertaker is being thrown out there. Uh, John Cena's not going to be at WrestleMania, from what I know. Wrestling, I hold reservations saying because John Cena is a freak of nature and he's you know can recover very fast. Um, I still hold reservations that he might wrestle at WrestleMania in like a short match with ADR or somebody like that. I'm not specifically sure. But looking at it just from a glance, I think the final four is going to be Sheamus, uh, Brock, uh, Bray, and uh, Roman. Um, Kevin Owens will be thrown out here and there. And then we got Chris Jericho. I forgot to mention him. Chris Jericho is probably going to get thrown out by Ambrose because then we're going to – because this whole Chris Jericho is like a good guy. He's a baby face. He's, he's, he's like all happy-go-lucky and still doing the same Chris Jericho stuff that we've seen for almost 15 years and how we're getting so annoyed by Chris Jericho. I am – Quite frankly, he's annoying the piss out of me. So, you have Chris Jericho turn heel, have him throw out Ambrose, who's a huge baby face, and you'll get a lot of people that will be split down the middle, um, and they'll definitely maybe cheer for Ambrose more than they will Chris Jericho, because Chris Jericho's a really good heel, and he can get people to hate him. Then you have Dean Ambrose, who's a very likable baby face, who maybe I don't care for as much, but, you know, I would like to see that match for a possible opener for WrestleMania between Jericho and Ambrose for the Intercontinental Championship. Maybe you have Jericho win the championship at Fastlane, become a 10-time Intercontinental Champion. Somehow maybe roll up Ambrose with the tights, and then you roll into WrestleMania 32 and Ambrose wins it back. You know, something like that, you know, to legitimize Jericho as a heel. Um, so those are the kind of, like, aspects that I've been covering over the Royal Rumble. I hope that you guys enjoy the Royal Rumble. I hope I enjoy the Royal Rumble. I hope it's a good show. Leave a comment down below who you think is uh, going to win all these different matches, who's going to win the Royal Rumble, what do you think is going to be the main event for WrestleMania, or what's the WWE Championship match going to be for uh, WrestleMania. Like this video if you liked it. If you didn't like it, I'm very sorry. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate that. And tomorrow is going to be the YWC Royal Rumble for WWE 2K16. I'm really excited for that. Let's, let's just say that. Um, so, yeah, it's snowing right now. This is being recorded like 12 o'clock, and right now the Internet's down, so... You know, hopefully it'll come back. Obviously it will because you're probably watching this video. If you're not watching this video, then it never got uploaded. So, yeah, um, thank you for watching and peace.